All right, so welcome back everyone. Today in this video, we're gonna be looking and starting um, transportation engineering. And we're gonna be focusing specifically on geometric design. And so I have a few practice problems for you all. So let's dive right in. All right, so number one says, a highway has a horizontal curve with a radius of 700 and a side friction factor of 0.1. Calculate the super elevation rate required for a design speed of 60 miles per hour. All right, so how do we attack each problem? Right. Well, we first have to decide what we're given. So it looks like we are given um, the radius. which is 700, we're given the side friction factor, which is 0 0.1. And we're also given uh, speed, which is 60 miles per hour. Okay, what are we trying to find? We're trying to find super elevation, Can we um, use a formula for this? Well, the first thing I would do is search super elevation in my FE handbook. So two things come up and the first one shows what super elevation stands for. So it looks like it's an E or is represented by the variable E and it's a percentage. All right, so in the handbook, it says the side friction factor uh, based on super elevation. So um, for this particular problem, we need a, we need F, which is side friction factor. We need V, which is design speed. So it looks like we have a side friction factor already, which is 0.1. We have the speed and then a R, um, which is radius. So it looks like we have all the various variables we need to solve for this problem. So we're gonna be using this formula that I highlighted to the right. I'll zoom in a little bit so you all are able to see it a bit better. So it's gonna be 0 0.01 E plus F, which is what? It's 0 0.1, all right, it's a side friction factor. And that's equal to 60 squared over uh, 15, times 700. All right, once I put that into my calculator, um, you should get your E. I'll just do this out. So it was 60 squared divided by 15 times 700. I get is equal to 0.34 minus 0.1. Divide that by uh, 0. 0.01. And so I get my E is equal to 24.3%. Okay, so I get a B for my answer. I hope that you're enjoying this video. I just wanted to drop in and say, if you're looking to pass your civil FE exam, 
within the next 90 days, then you definitely wanna check out the course that I've created. The video that you're currently watching gives you just a glimpse of what is in the course, and I have made it test taker proof. And what that means is, is no matter if you've been out of school for a while, or you just have trouble with some of the engineering concepts, if you study this material that is in the course, it will help you to pass within the next 90 days. There are also full practice exams. Yes, 110 question practice exams, along with review guides and study schedule templates to help you pass. And these, re these are resources that I have created for you. So if you wanna check out any of those, just head down in the description box below and check them out now. Now to stay up to date on any new videos that I drop, whether it is more practice problems like in this video or if you want advice and some extra tips to help you pass your civil FE exam, you're gonna wanna make sure that you hit that subscribe button, turn on those bell notifications so that you know exactly when I post. And if you wanna check out the next video, you can here.